Marianne's Michigan Kitchen. And we've got some of my favorite pork chops. Going in the back. And these are country style ribs. Three ninety nine a pound. I got two pounds. And these are so big that Mike and I will eat um, one one meal and another and another meal. Okay. I'm gonna leave that flame up. I salted the part that went down. I know everybody likes spare ribs and baby back ribs and all that, but I'm telling you, this is where the meat is at. And I reused my pure simple, pure maple syrup jar cleaned it all out and it's got my barbecue sauce in it and this was in the freezer so I took it out yesterday when I was taking out the pork. Thawed both of them out in the refrigerator overnight and we'll just kind of like go from there. Now I have apples that would be kind of cool to put in here with the barbecue sauce so it would be like apple pork barbecue. I might do something like that, kind of up in the air. Okay, like my new system here. Let's see. Turn this guy this way. Oh, look at that. I can go all the way down. All right. This might be a new place that I'm going to start putting my camera. So anyways, it's 1130. I was editing video and I got one done and I realized that hey we gotta start cooking it because I don't want them in the oven and I didn't want them in the Instapot. I could have done the Instapot in a hurry <sighs> but I just wasn't feeling it you know. There we go. Can y'all see that? That's some good browning right there. Now, what I want to do is I want to turn the flaming down. When I say flaming, I had it up like that. You can see. So when I say turn it down low, I'm talking like that. And... I think for right now I'm just going to keep my lid on it. And we're just going to let it cook for... Well, let's put cooking time. I never push that button. Apparently I can't. We'll be back when uh, something's happening here on the show. Back to editing. Okay. It's, it's fine. Okay, here we go. We got my homemade barbecue sauce. These guys registered between 150 and 170, which is done. It's 50 minutes. Pour this on here. Oh my gosh. There was smell of vision This is like the best homemade barbecue sauce. So we're just going to cook that down. I turned the flame up just a little. And then I think what we're going to have with it is um, 
some fried potatoes and our raw sauerkraut. So you don't need me to show you how to cut potatoes. Everybody knows how to cut potatoes up. The smaller they cut, the faster they cook. Just remember that. Okay, folks, so I'm finishing my meal up here. You can see I've got my fried potatoes and beef tallow. I have my pork chops with barbecue sauce. And just to double check the thick part of this meat, 172. And this one is 178. So these guys are definitely done. And the sauce did not make a big mess in the bottom of the pan. So we are ready to eat. So we're going to have barbecue ribs. And we're going to have fried potatoes. And we're having sauerkraut. Raw sauerkraut. Get it? Raw sauerkraut. Okay. And, um... That's going to be our meal today, because we didn't go to the store, so I don't have a lot of fresh anything anymore. We're, we're at the end. Yeah, I missed my onion. Oh, well. <laughs>